Hello and welcome to the Gamer's Table. It is Monday, and we're reviewing Wyatt Earp. Why the game, not? Not the dude. Yeah, this is a fun little game. I like it. The Wild West. Tough times and tough characters. Bandits, desperados, rustlers, and thieves are everywhere. Take the roles of the brave sh sheriffs riding on the heels of these legendary outlaws. Capture Jesse James. Hunt Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Rich rewards await those brave and daring enough. Just be careful not to let them slip away. Instead of suits that you're collecting, you're collecting colors. And the colors represent the various outlaws, whether it be Jesse James, Sundance Kid, Billy the Kid, Butch Cassidy, Bob Dalton, Bellstar, and Wes Harden. Put them in a circle. Put some money on them. Deal everybody some cards. Attempt to collect sets. Mm -hmm. Repeat until somebody gets 25 grand. It's mm -hmm. a rummy variant. Kind of. Pretty much. But it's a fun little rummy variant with a th little bit of a theme to it. Mm -hmm. You can actually learn a little bit about them on their on the various reward cards, which is a neat little thing, and you can add a little bit of history into it. They didn't uh, bog down the rule book with it, which is good. So you got your hand of cards. You have like the wanted cards, which make up most of the deck, and there will be colors for each of the uh, different outlaws. And you also have sheriff cards, which are denoted by the, the star on the top left-hand corner that have different powers. Like the Wyatt Earp has uh, two different things. Actually, no, three different things that you could do with the Wyatt Earp card. And the object is just to, uh, once you have put down the set, like you'll have a set of maybe up to six, the outlaw doesn't get captured unless there's eight collective points around the table. Now, you want to have the most. Whoever has the most and qualifies in order to... Okay, let's back it up. In order to qualify to get reward, you have to have at least four capture points of whatever outlaw. In front of you, yeah. But if, you'd, if the person who has the most has five more than the next person, it doesn't matter whether you have four or not. You're not getting anything. Yeah. If the person has got a lead of five... They get it all. Or more, they get it all. Otherwise... The first person grabs two, then everyone else grabs one, and then there, and then one from then on. And if as long as it goes evenly to at least two about two people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And after and, you've dealt out the money for all the outlaws, any outlaws that have money left on them stays there. Then you put a fresh thousand on each, mm -hmm. collect all the cards, shuffle them up, deal out a fresh hand, and do it again. As I said, until when somebody hits twenty five grand or more, that's when the game is going to end. Yeah. And kind of like the rummy games, this one you sometimes want to hold on to your hand for as long as you can until you know you think you might get screwed and end up getting nothing on the table. So you want to, like you can play your sheriff cards down, the, the fours with the sheriff symbol down on instead of putting the minimum of three. That's how you can start it off. But, you know, someone else is going to be able to build on that if they have those cards in their hand. So it's kind of it's just like Remy like that. Yeah, and again, as and Ken was saying, the big danger about holding on to your cards no is if somebody goes out no money before points. you get your cards down, your cards are all gone. Yeah. It's not, you know, just waiting for the right time. It's if you see somebody thinking, oh, no, everybody's got lots of cards, and somebody goes, wham, 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 oh, no, 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 don't put, don't put them all down because yeah. I got some of those colors. I could get in on this. Don't put them all down yet. Well, that's the thing, too, is if you're putting stuff down, you make it easier for the other guys to go out as well. Because, right. you know, I might be stuck with two blue guys, with two, uh, with four of the Billy the Kid. But if someone puts down their set of three, it's like, oh, good, I can, I can put those down and get a share in that reward. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you can get away with getting a set that equals eight or greater before anybody else can and, and go out. Going out doesn't give you any other bonus other than, haha, I ended it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't give you any bonus points, but it's always an advantage to go out and, yeah. as opposed to giving other players a chance to react to what you just did. Yeah, and with set collection, obviously, you're going to have to toss some stuff away eventually, you know, unless you can you get lucky and draw pretty much what you need right off the get-go. Here you want a lot of color in your hand. You don't want a lot of the sheriffs. You know, they got some cool uh, powers and stuff, but you can only play one a turn. And you want to get your hand down and out as fast as possible in this game. Now, now the sheriffs, they may have some cool powers and all that, but they're not always as helpful as you think you 
They are. Because a lot of them say, after a successful shot, do yes. my special power. Now, the cards either have a clean corner down there, or they have a shot down there. So when you play your Sheriff card, you flip up the top card on the deck. If it doesn't have a shot, you failed. If it does, you do. So it's sort of a 50-50 toss-up whether that cool power is actually going to do anything for you. And if it's the hideout card where you're trying to shut somebody else out of all their cards, you sort of started something when you tried to do that and your shot missed. It's like, oh. Simple, quick, and fun. But what's fun about this one, too, the, the sheriff cards can be douchebag cards. and You can steal cards out from other people or, like, play a hideout on them and, hey, that negates their capture points in front of them. They can't claim anything. Just for the one outlaw, not mm. all their capture points yeah. for all the outlaws. Yeah, just the That would just be one. bad. Yeah, not all <laughs> of them, just one color. It's kind of thematic, though. The, the yep. You, yep. you, the Billy the Kid got a hideout, so he's, you're not capturing him. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, every one of the outlaws have a biography of that particular outlaw. Yeah, that's really and nice. When they were born, when they were captured or died, I'm not sure exactly which it is. Could be the same thing, the way things went back then. Um, <laughs> so you can learn a little bit about the, the Old West if you don't watch a lot of spaghetti westerns and already had your mind warped by that. <laughs> but there's a good selection of cards, and it seems like 25 grand is a lot, but it's not. It takes maybe three or four plays through all together, and somebody's won the game. Yeah, it doesn't take too long to play or anything like that. That's nice to get your little handy card, too, but, you know, you really won't need them. The game's pretty simple. You know, If you don't have the sheriff cards in your hand, you might want to know what someone else has in their hand, you know, what's out there. Well, you got something to, at least to look at. This game is all public information, so you clearly see who's in the lead, so therefore you can try to hinder the person in the lead as much as possible in order to give yourself a chance of winning. Yeah. And, I mean, you kind of need to do that because otherwise you're just pretty much handing them the game. Or you can yeah. do the whole, hmm, he's got, okay, I'll get four of that down. Huh? He's got, I got four of that down. I'll just get in on every one of them, so I'm just collecting money from all <laughs> yep. of them. Yep. It might only be a little bit of money, but it's going to add up over seven guys. If you're giving me, if I get something in on almost all of them, that's like seven grand a round that I'm grabbing. Yep. For yeah. not being the guy who's going first on any of them. Yeah, that's, that's what's nice about this game. You can be a douchebag or something like that. You can't do that in Rummy, really. You know, you can share, you know, you can start playing other on other people's stuff, but here you can steal stuff, you can put hold hideouts on people and negate their cards and things like that. That's where the player interaction comes in. That's what makes it fun. Wrapping up for Wyatt Earp. Rounding up Wyatt Earp, maybe? Rounding up Wyatt Earp. Rounding up them outlaws. Theme is uh, capturing bad guys in the Old West. It's a rummy variant, but you're you're shooting guys. You got stagecoach robberies. You got hideouts. People get it's, away. You don't collect rewards. Yeah, there's, there's a theme yeah, there. It, I think it works. Um, easy to play. It's it's rummy set collection with the little bit of douchebaggery put in and the addition of collecting the money off the different guys. Mm -hmm. uh, fun to play, yeah, because it's not that long, so you're not screwing everybody too much, and. The game itself is so quick that even if there is, you know, somebody sort of getting hammered, it's not going to be very much longer before we can play something else. I give Wyatt Earp a 7.2. Oh, excellent. Oh, Changing right. it up! <laughs> I want to give it 33 and a third. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, let's see. I, I enjoy this game. It's a nice little game. Uh, I like the set collection and stuff like that. And being able to mess around with the other players is fun, too. I like the little bit of history you get on the cards. The artwork's nice and all that. Fun game. I like that little bit of douchebaggery you get in it, you know, being able to put a hideout on somebody else's cards and negate their capture points so they don't share in the money or the rewards. And, uh, you know, being able to use the sheriffs and stuff to collect cards, you know, remove the hideouts, all kinds of stuff. Take cards from the discard stack. It adds a lot more to the game than just, oh, I got these colors, I'm going to put them down here and I'm first out. Okay, that's it. We're done. I got out first. <laughs> no, it's a lot more fun than that. I'm going to give this one a 7. It's a rummy variant, but it's got a neat theme to it. It's enjoyable and it's quick. It's a good filler. Like, okay, let's play something quick before 
we start with the main game that we want to play the the night, whatever. Yeah, or you just want to play a lot of variety in one night. Oh yeah, I mean you can get a lot of games in on one night if you're playing games like Wyatt Earp and other shorter mm-hmm. style games. Roll through know. the ages. Yeah. Shadows over Camelot. The card the card game. game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be clear on that. Yes. yes. Baseballs. The card game. <laughs> I give Wyatt Earp a seven. So that's it for this episode of the Gamers Table. Tune in next week where we review another game. Because that's what we do. Bad joke alert. Ken, would you like to play Wyatt Earp? Wyatt not. I warned you. I like it. Not something I'd want to play a lot, but it's a good little fun short game. Yes. Anybody going to say anything about this good fun short game? I just did.